We got heat down the wrong bike. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from Ashley Durham. She was sent over by the Queen of Sauce herself, Kristen. And she got addicted to the channel and felt like she needed to be a slave to the crave of a BLT. Add avocado, sweet potato fries, and ranch for dipping. So we got all the nice little ingredients here to make a delicious, homely, banger request for Ashley. Let's get into this. So these are gonna take the longest and you know the deal. We gotta peel. Get yourself a nice handy peeler like such. And don't mind when the shit falls over the floor, sweep it up later. Don't let it get to you. But we gotta peel this nice and clean and get down into the meat of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna snip off these ends here real quick. And then we gotta get our fry guys. So stand her up on a nice firm half. We'll go down half. This is where she gets a bit tricky. Now that we got that to work with, we'll go like this. You make them as thin or as thick as you want. Rip some strips. Okay, here we have it, my friends. Final product, nice and uniform. Some good sweet potato fries. Let's fry them up. Not yet, not quite yet. We got other stuff to do. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do then next is we gotta par boil these potatoes down a little bit. So to this water, you're gonna add a little bit of vinegar and a pinch of salt. This is gonna do some scientific -y shit with the potatoes. Okay, so these guys have been at a light little boil for about a minute or two. They are getting a little, just a little tender, a little floppy, that's all we want. And we're gonna go strain these guys off now. Okay, so we lay these babies in a nice cradle of love. Spread them out, just let them kinda come down back to room temp, cool off, chill out a bit. Just, you know, take a sunny vacay for a bit and then we'll deal with you later. You know what I mean? In the meanwhile, a little air fryer bacon it is. So, a little parchment paper down and we have to cut a nice square to fit to the size of the basket that goes in the A fryer. So, nice slice. Swaparoo, nice slice. Okay, now get your bacon laid. But hey, at least one of us is getting laid around here, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so into the basket we go. And lately for me, with this method, in the air fryer with a parchment is about four, it's definitely not about, this is definite, 400 for about 10 minutes. So pop her in. What did I tell you, folks? 400, 10 minutes. Coming out a little too legit to quit. Air fryer, bacon. Okay, so since we're trying to achieve an extra crunchity nature on these fries, we're gonna have to make a cornstarch slurry. I'm putting in this much. I don't really know how much it is. Water. Whisk. Until not lumpy. What you're looking for. So like I said earlier, right? Flaccid, that's how we, <laughs> that's how we want them. We just wanted them to get, you know, par cooked basically. But we go ahead and we Coat them in the cornstarch slurry. Okay, a couple more preparatory tasks. Clausen, best pickles in the world. Take them from halves to Britney Pickle Spears. Dad jokes. A nice sandwich. Ain't a nice sandwich without some little pickle spears here. And I just want some thin, manageable, manageable strips. Just like so. Got a big, juicy, bad boy beef steak tomato. Get some slices. Discard you, sir. Look at that interior. Just beautiful, really. It's really just beautiful. Oh, these are gonna be amazing. Let's friggin' go. Perfect beef steakers on. 
Next, I just want to cut some lettuce to some nice manageable sizes. And then we just pull them apart one by one and keep them intact as much as we possibly can. And those will be legit and perfect right there. So onto our prep plate. I mean, it's the attention to detail for me. There we go, prepped. All right, so my grocery store didn't have exactly a very ripe avocado. So, so because we need an avocado element to this sandwich, I'm going to pull a little tricky switcheroo situation here and make myself basically an avocado mayo. Hit it, twist it. Oh, hit it, twist. Nope, see? And that's how you know that it's not ripe. When this doesn't just lift right out, she too tight in the middle. That's how we like her though. There we go. Okay, so get our cotto out. She's a little, little tight, a little stiff, a little, a little crunchy. We'll figure it out. Gonna go ahead and break this down just a little bit. Okay, mayo into this bowl. Hellman's, only the best. Avocado in. Whip out your stick and get to vibrating. And there we have it, our avocado mayonnaise -o. A Little bit of runny ranch coming up, Hidden Valley. Today I'm putting a little unique tweak on it and that's gonna be a little bit of pickle brine. Oop, a little more when you miss. And of course, standard issue, pepperoncini dreams. Mini whisk and spin. And of course, what would sweet potato fries be without chipotle mayo? So mayo in. I've got this chipotle sauce. Decent amount. And just some ketchup to balance out for some sweetness in the heatness. And we mix. Easy peasy, chipotle mayo, let's taste. Perfect. Cornstarch slurry fries, ready to get hopefully crispy. So this is where we're at, and I think we're looking pretty damn good right now. Looks like it's got good feel to it. Firm, crisp. All right, we are getting closer. So while the last little batch of fries is in there, we must have some toast. Every good BLT deserves a little bit of a toast, I would say. Okay, last of the batch coming in hot. Whew, hot, 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 hot. Salt these guys. How's she looking? Pretty good. Okay, time to build ourselves some witches. Our rich and creamy avocado mayo. Big slice of tomato. Salt. Pepper. Bacon, of course. A three slicer. And a perfect bit of lettuce. More of our avocado mayo. Come back, pop the top, and there it is. A beautiful BLT with the avocado mayo. Wrangle up our sweet potato fries into a containment unit. Oh, well they fall all over the place. Beautiful stack of sweet potato fries. Perfect, at your service. And there we have it folks, a perfect stack of BLTs, your crispy sweet potato fries, and of course, our pickle spears. 
This one's for you, Ashley Durham. Thank you very much for sliding in the inbox and requesting this. Let's eat it. All right, yo, what up? Welcome to today's video. I'm back with a, you know, a little picnic banger, maybe a little deli style restaurant lunch meal. Can't wait. Super excited to get into it. I think it's going to be banging. Everything's right up my taste bud alley. But before we do anything more, <laughs> we must pour. We have Bonaire skier. Ready to send it for the pour. So full glacial. And we're coming back in hot <laughs> today with that Baja Blast. And I tell you what, okay? Baja Blast, game, it's a game changing soda. You know, it was never super high, super hot in my repertoire in the early stages of my infantile life. But lately, I'm telling you, it is something else. Look at this. Oh, this ice is going to go. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, oh, it is on the, see this guy? Death defying, a cliffhanger, a Sylvester Stallone. Leave you alone. Okay, you don't die today. Look at that. That's a pour, that's a pour of a century right there, I'd say. Okay. But it's just so good all right just before we get into this once again big shouts out to ashley durham thank you very much hope you enjoy this i'm definitely gonna enjoy this i do believe i want to see if we achieved a crunchy fry i think we did a crunchy crispy patata fry by the sounds of it i think we have so let's inspect Looking pretty good. You know what? Let's go for a little group dip. A little group on a fries. Now, what would sweet potato fries be without your chipotle mayo? You gotta have chipotle mayo, sweet potato fries. Or is that played out at this point? It's a little played, a little played. We got crisp. <coughs> we got heat down. Wrong bite. Oh man. Chipotle's trying to take me out. The fuck? Mmm. Yo. I did that. I even brought some of the avocado mayo to try. With these with these guys. Wow, that's really good too, actually. Awesome. I'm gonna try this ranch now. Too ready to dip up front. Mm hmm. The Chipotle mayo is winning first prize. But yo. I've never made these before. Turned out amazing. I'm not exactly a sweet potato fry kind of guy. Never really got deep into them, but I gotta say those are good. Okay, perfect little BLT. Get it in ya. That bacon was messing with me. I gotta get deep in for uh, this bite here. Okay. That avocado mayo. Changes the game. Yeah, it brings like a
like a freshness. Just that kind of bright. avocado we freshness we must dip one of these bites into a dirty amount of, <coughs> dirty amount of runny ranch yo that's what's up Did not expect. I did not expect that to elevate that bite to the degree that it did. And the dill pickle brine is a welcome change. this meal is banging the block right now okay pickle spear phone call pardon me just the creditors I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid, it was my mother. <laughs> my mother calling me looking for son man duties. These are the things that happen when you're the male, the boy, and you have Two sisters and a mom. A lot of heavy lifting. I can't believe how good these came out. I was honestly skeptical. Maybe the best sweet potato fries I've ever had. And that's mainly why I don't usually get sweet potato fries, it's because they always come soggy limp dicks. And I'm not in for it. If I'm having fries, I want some crunch. You know what I'm saying? Just follow that recipe. And also, the ketchup additive in this dip was the move. Perfect balance. Mmm. Hitters. So Miss Ashley said that she was converted over to my channel. That's actually the dope side. There you go. From old Saucy Queen. So once again, big shout out to Saucy Queen. This one's for you, Kristen. I know you would be about that bite. The ranch, the Wingstop Ranch God herself. <laughs> She's always deep in a barrel of Wingstop Ranch. I've never had the privilege of eating Wingstop Ranch. I wish. Man, that is a damn good, messy sandwich.
bought myself some fresh ass rags. The little things you get excited about as a mukbanger. My old ones are straight and nasty, and I'm like, why haven't I replaced these? Like, they're $2.99 for a pack. You spend five bucks, get two packs, and you're like, loaded up for a good little while. Okay. If you could have that bite right there, you'd be living the same dream I am. Man, oh man. That is truly what's up. No. Tomato down. Brought back the yellow boy today. Kind of forgot I even had it. Went missing. Found it. The shit I find craziest about Baja Blast is that there's no way to explain the flavor. Like, I don't even know what that tastes like. It's delicious. But I literally have no frame of reference for what that tastes like. Which is fast. Wow, why am I choking on everything in this video? Fascinating. Because very rarely in life does that happen with, you know, flavors. You can always kind of pinpoint it. Okay. One last pickle to rule them all. <laughs> to rule them all. And if you can find Clausens, get them. Change your life. Easily the best pickle. Perfect meal. Perfect meal of food. All the amazing flavors. Banger in the books. So that'll do it for that one. If anyone else is feeling like Ashley, looking for a little specific requisi, the link will be in the pinned comments in this video. Email me, hit me up, we'll chat. But till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.